Hello kids, welcome to Alpha Geeks. Adaptations to food habits. All animals have to eat their food in order to get energy to live and survive. Different animals eat different types of food. An animal's mouth, teeth and even body structure all help it to eat a certain type of food. You can often figure out what types of food an animal eats by looking at its body and mouth. So based on the feeding habits, animals are classified according to these following types. These include herbivores. These are the animals that eat only plants. Carnivores are animals that eat only the flesh of other animals. Omnivores are animals that eat both flesh and plants. Scavengers are animals or birds which eat the flesh of dead animals. And parasites are animals that depend on other hosts for their food. Herbivores are animals that eat only plants. These can be flowers, fruit, nuts, grass, or even wood. They can have white flat teeth for grazing on grass or beaks to open nuts. Birds like parrot have curved beak for cracking nuts and fruits. As these animals depend solely on eating plants, the plant food is rich in a substance called cellulose. Cellulose is the fibrous carbohydrate present in the cell walls of the plant, so it needs to be chewed well. For this purpose, herbivores have sharp incisors to cut the food and strong molars to grind food. Examples include cows, horse and elk. Animals such as squirrel and rabbits have razor sharp teeth to gnaw and bite on nuts berries and wood. Insects like honeybee, butterfly, etc. are also herbivores as they primarily feed on the nectar obtained from flowers. Another important adaptation in herbivores is that they have longer small intestines as compared to the carnivores as digestion of cellulose takes a longer time. Longer intestine ensures that the food stays in the intestine for a longer period of time and is properly digested. Carnivore is an animal that eats only flesh of other animals. They have to catch other animals to eat. Carnivores have only sharp teeth called canines. These are used for hunting and tearing the flesh of its prey. They usually don't chew their food, they just swallow it in the size of the pieces that they tear off. Flesh eating birds like eagles have sharp claws to catch their prey and sharp beaks to tear their flesh. Frogs and lizards have long sticky tongue to catch the prey. Snakes have hundreds of backward facing teeth that help to swallow the prey. Some of the examples of carnivores include Lion, tiger, cheetah, wolf, crocodile, and shark. Omnivores. These are the animals that can eat both meat and plants. These are animals like chickens that can eat seeds and worms. These omnivores have sharp teeth like carnivores to tear flesh and flat teeth like herbivores to grind food. Crow is an omnivore but it does not have teeth. It has a beak instead. It eats snakes, fruits, seeds and worms. Some of the examples of omnivores include hedgehog, bear, dog, raccoon, and crow. Scavengers are animals that eat the flesh of dead animals as their food. 
even though they are meat eaters, rather than catching their prey, they prefer to eat the animal remains left behind by the predators. When predators move on after a meal, the scavengers arrive to finish off anything that hasn't been eaten. Scavengers are called cleaners of the environment because they eat up the dead remains of the animals and they clean the environment. Animals that live on or inside the bodies of other animals and depend on them for food and shelter are called parasites. The animal that provides food and shelter to the parasite is known as host. Parasites cause harm to the host. Parasites that live on the body of human beings or other animals are called ectoparasites. Example, fleas, lice, bedbugs and mosquito. The parasites that live inside the host body are called endoparasites. Example, tapeworm, roundworm, and hookworm. Endoparasites enter our body when we eat unhygienic food or eat with unclean hands. Parasites do not have teeth. They mostly have sucking tubes in their mouths. If you have liked this video, then hit the like button and subscribe. And don't miss to press the bell icon to get new notifications. Thank you.